Welcome back to Mock Draft Madness, day 36 of doing a mock draft every day until the NFL draft. If you don't know ball and want to know ball, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, let me know in the comments your favorite and least favorite pick from this mock draft, as well as trade scenarios for me to try. We got 19 more days of mock drafts. I'm excited to not be done with them, but to kind of actually be able to talk about the draft instead of just the um, hypotheticals. So to start off, Caleb Williams, Bears, we know this we're going every time, similar to Marvin Harrison to the Cardinals. Um, now we're going to go Drake May to the Commanders and Jaden Dan. Well, actually, you know what? I am going to switch this up today. I am going to go J.J. McCarthy to the New England Patriots, and here's why. He's a winner. The Patriots want to win. Do I think that's the quickest path to winning? No. But... They could very easily sit him, and they could very easily easily sit him, and he needs to develop for a year anyway. So, if they want a guy like a JJ McCarthy, I think probably they'd have a hard time moving out of three and then being in a position where they could take him, unless they trade back with like the Giants, which is very possible. Um, where the Giants can move up and get J.J. McCarthy, and then, um, you know, they would be at six. They could grab Jaden Daniels or, you know, however they want to maneuver the top of the draft. But I just want to switch it up a little bit today. Um, and I did, I've been seeing reports. Breer um, put out a report today, and Albert Breer, in my opinion, is probably one of the more trusted guys and puts out valuable information. He was basically saying that, Outside of Caleb Williams, Michael Penix is actually viewed by some teams, I don't know how many teams, but by some teams as like the number two quarterback. So we're going to mess around a little bit here, um, and I think I'm going to do a very quarterback heavy mock today. So at number four, we're going to go Arizona Cardinals. At number five, I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to give the Los Angeles Chargers Malik Neighbors. At number six, the Giants are going to be able to get Jaden Daniels to work with Brian Damel, who I actually think Jaden Daniels, this might be like one of the better positions for him. I know he hasn't played well under pressure, but I also think that there is a reality where, you know, he, this just might be the best fit. Like I'm trying to think of like where might be a better place for him. You know, you could argue, you know, the Vikings, yes, but from my understanding, the Vikings have had more interest in like Drake May and JJ McCarthy over like a Jaden Daniels. So in terms of like, he definitely would get taken, but in terms of best position, because of the coach that he has, I think this kind of might be the best spot for him, if not the Vikings. At number seven, we have the Tennessee Titans. I am going to give them Joe Alt. At number eight, to the Atlanta Falcons. I think this is a prime trade back spot if any one of these teams want to move up and go get, um, you know, a quarterback or even the last remaining wide receiver. Um, because I the Falcons are probably going to go edge here, and I think they can probably grab an edge within this range anyway. Um, so just kind of looking at the roster, you know, I don't really know where they trade back unless it was, you know, let's see, let's see. I'm, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them uh, swap picks with the Jets. I'm going to give them... 111 and they'll give me like 187 so they move up basically like 60 spots or maybe even 197 187 that's fine and we're gonna force that trade well actually we'll give them 79 and they give us 72 i think that's fair wait yeah that's fair that's fair that's fair so we're gonna force that trade through the Jets are on the clock, and they are going to take Rome Odunze to pair with Garrett Wilson. Now, the Bears are in, in, in an interesting spot, wow, and um, they could take Brock Bowers. They could trade back. I think there's an opportunity for them to probably trade back because 
if you look at the board and the way that it's fallen, I don't know if Bowers is going to be the move for them. I I do I won't hate the pick. Um, I also at the, if this is the way the board falls, see them possibly going edge. Um, unless you know there might be a team that kind of wants to trade up here, and kind of looking at the board, I think it is possible that they do trade down. I'm trying to think of like what would make a lot of sense here for a team, you know. For example, the Raiders do need like a right tackle. I think they can get kind of a position of need at this spot though. And if we're looking at a team like, you know, the Bengals who want that weapon, they could go get Brock Bowers. I don't know if they're going to give up a second to go get him. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't know where we'd want to go here. So we had Okay, hold on. I think I have an idea here. I don't think no, that they're not going to do that. I was thinking about the Cardinals. <laughs> the Bills are not not doing it because they have Kincaid. So yeah, I mean th- this is kind of a tough spot. Um you know, if we look at what the quarterbacks are, we have Bo Nix and Michael Penix. I think there's a reality where the Broncos could try to jump the um, Vikings here. And that may be the reality. So, sorry guys, I'm kind of struggling with this pick here. I'm trying to do something like a little bit different. Um, And, you know... I just... I don't see the trade, so I'm just going to go Brock Bowers to the Bears at 9. Um, at number 10, we have the Atlanta Falcons. They're on the board, and I'm going to give them uh, Dallas Turner. think they're probably going to go one of the three edges. They can probably trade back at more draft capital and still get one of the top edges. At number 11, we have the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I think maybe with this pick, what we can do is we can give them... Um, this is tough because if I'm going to do quarterback heavy... The reality is I'm going to go Michael Penix Jr. And then I'm actually going to go back to back with Bo Nix here. Because if Penix gets taken in the top 11 and the Broncos and Raiders are both sitting there needing a quarterback, the reality is the Broncos don't have a second round pick. So there's no way they're going to be really able to move up unless they're trading future draft capital when they have to rebuild that team to move up. So if Penix goes, I think the reality is one of these teams is probably going to take Knicks at 12 or 13. And if he doesn't go, then the Vikings can probably take Penix at 23 and take another player um, at 11. But like I said, today I'm going to be doing a quarterback heavy draft. So we have six quarterbacks in the top 12. At number 13, we have the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going to give them to Lisa Fuanga to play right tackle. 14 to the New Orleans Saints. While I do think they need O-line, let's give them Byron Murphy to supplement that defensive line and really build up those trenches. 15 to the Indianapolis Colts. While I do like the idea of going with a corner here, I think it is possible that they do go wide receiver. So I'm going to go Brian Thomas Jr. at 15. At number 16, we have the Seattle Seahawks. I think they're also a prime trade back candidate more into this area. Um, So what I'm going to do is I am just going to have the Cowboys come up here. Where are the Cowboys? And they can probably come and get... Ooh, they have a big gap from... So maybe not the Cowboys. I'm trying to think of a team that would want to come up for Fashanu. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that little swap here. Well, who does... I mean, like... Okay, hold on. I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. Well, actually, no, I'm not. They're both in the NFC West. 
Um, I was thinking the Cardinals, maybe. I'm trying to get the Cardinals to trade up. They can get Olu, Marvin Harrison Jr. That would be quite the draft. Um, so I think might what I might do is I might have them uh, stick and pick, and I'm going to have them taking Troy Fautanu. At number 17, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars on the clock. Uh, they need corner pretty badly, so I'm going to give them Tyran Arnold. 18 to the Cincinnati Bengals. They need defensive interior. They need tackle. Um, with the way the board has fallen, my issue is I don't know if Olu is going to be have that much versatility in terms of switching over to right tackle. Um, but if he's on the board and with how much pass passing the Bengals do, he might be the perfect candidate to kind of like sit for a year behind Trent Brown. Uh, Orlando Brown Jr., he's someone that can play right away, so it's like if either one of those guys get hurt, you don't have to worry about your line. At number 19 to the Los Angeles Rams, if Jared Verse is there, easy money. 20 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They need a tackle center, wide receiver corner. I think with, you know, J.C. Latham on the board, I think that's kind of an easy selection. 21 to the Miami Dolphins. Jerzon Newton is a pick um, that is pretty easy. I think they do need interior help as well. I, the, the Dolphins actually, I don't think they have any like studs on the defensive interior. Like no like amazing players, but they do have like pretty decent depth. So maybe I might lean away, um, even though he is the BPA on the board here. Um, I think O-line is definitely more of a need than cornerback. So I am actually going to give them Graham Barton because of the five-position versatility in case Teron Armstead gets hurt. Austin Jackson's had an extension, but he can play any of the interior positions as well. 22 to the Philadelphia Eagles. Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking corner, but if one of the top three edges are here, I'm going to give him Leatu Latu. 23 to the Minnesota Vikings. If Drazan Newton is available, they'll take him, pair him with, uh, you know, Michael Penix. They don't need wide receiver. So at number 24, we have the Dallas Cowboys. I am going to give him a Mary, give them Marius Mims, someone who can play both tackle spots. You know, he's going to need some time to develop, but it'll be a pretty good pick. With Quinion Mitchell available to the Packers, I have not had him fall this far in quite a while. Quinion Mitchell can be a great addition to a Packers team um, with a Jair Alexander playing on the opposite side of him. I know Cooper DeGene has a little bit more versatility. I trust Mitchell a little bit more on the one-on-ones, so I am going to go Quinion Mitchell. 26 to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With the value being here of a Cooper DeGene and Nate Wiggins, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to give them uh, Nate Wiggins and then with the Arizona Cardinals Cooper DeGene falls right in their lap so you get Cooper DeGene you get Marvin Harrison Jr. you have the 35th pick so you've addressed to a wide receiver you've addressed a corner you can probably go with a you know defensive interior player or edge like a Chop Robinson if he makes it there um, you know the Buffalo Bills are on the clock here with a wide receiver pick and I have been going um wide receiver quite often here and I think it's kind of getting old so what I'm going to do because the Buffalo Bills have a lot of picks that are not in Mm -mm -mm. I'm not liking this they need wide receiver in the next yeah, they like have to go Adonai Mitchell, right? Or do they go with a guy like Lad McConkey? I'm gonna I've had them going Adonai Mitchell, so I'm gonna go Lad here. I know that's very unlikely to happen and probably will not, but um the reality is it's another mock, another day. There'll be Adonai Mitchell there tomorrow. So twenty nine to the Detroit Lions. If Jackson Powers Johnson is there for them. Dan Campbell will probably run in the pick himself because of his interior versatility. They need a plan at center and they need a guard spot filled. So Jax Powers Johnson is a physical player that Dan Campbell will love. Um, so with Adnai Mitchell here, the Baltimore Ravens are going to take him easily to pair him with 
um, Zay Flowers. I think that would be a great addition for the Ravens. Um, Coy McKinstry going to the 49ers because of their la- their lack of depth. And, you know, he is a quality corner, and he's probably the last, like, first-round corner out of all the guys we've taken. So now we're looking at the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't love, you know, I, I think Guyton can be a good player, but I don't think, I just don't know if the Chiefs are going to do that right now. So I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them Jermaine Burton. I think Jermaine Burton has fallen because of a lot of off the field issues. And I know that this is what the Chiefs really do struggle with, um, with the off the field issues, but you know, their organization has been, and Andy Reid has more been about giving guys second chances. And with a guy like Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, I truly believe Jermaine Burton can be a special player in the NFL. Um, if those off the field issues weren't there, I truly believe he would be a late first rounder. I think when you watch the tape, it's very evident the talent this guy has. It's just more of like, are you going to be able to get him under control once he gets to the league? Um, So if any organization is able to do that, it's probably the Chiefs. I know they don't. (laughs) I know Rasheed Rice uh, just happened, uh, but he'd probably have to go there. A Philly, um, you know, Philly in the second round would be really nice for him. And then um, even a team like the, oh, where am I blanking? Where am I blanking? Steelers fits Steelers receivers vibes pretty well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a mock draft madness day 36 of doing mock draft every day until the NFL draft. If you don't know ball and want to know ball, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, let me know in the comments, your favorite and least favorite pick from this mock draft and trade suggestions. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. We're getting closer and closer every single day. Very excited. Thank you.